Hey there, YouTube. All right, so I'm back with another video in our beginner series. So if you're a brand new drummer, or you've never picked up a pair of sticks, or you just got a drum kit, or you just started taking drum lessons, you just got a drum pad, or you just only got a pair of sticks and you're playing on a pillow, this video is for you. Um, today we're talking about how to play some patterns that we learned in previous videos with a metronome. We're also gonna learn about a couple of different types of notes quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. Um, so those are three different subdivisions of notes. Um, there's many more notes, but we're just gonna focus on those three. Um, and uh, if you're an advanced or intermediate player, before you go any further, this video is most likely not for you. You are probably too knowledgeable um, to be dealing with this video. Um, although maybe there's something in it uh, that you can take from it, I, I don't know. But uh, this is specifically tailored to you beginners out there. Okay, I've got my metronome here. Um, this is a super old metronome. Um, I've been using this, I don't know, since I was a teenager. Um, but there's all sorts of great metronome apps. You can even go to websites and use metronomes on there. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of metronome you're using. My hope is just that you're using a metronome. Um, so I've got my metronome set to 80, which is 80 beats per minute. Um, I'm gonna probably mention a couple terms here that may not make a ton of sense. They will make sense in later videos. So, for example, um, there are in the in the times in the in the timing that we're playing in. Uh, the musical term would be time signature. We're playing in is called four four um, four beats in a measure, and the quarter note equals one beat. And you're probably like, what the heck does all that mean? Don't worry about it. Um, we'll we'll get through some of it uh, today, and others we'll save for a later video. Um, but basically, what that means is with the metronome, you're going to hear four quarter note clicks, four beat clicks, one, two, three, four, and it's going to repeat um, over and over. Uh, so, for example, here we go. I've got mine set to eighty. I'm going to hit play, and you're going to hear four clicks. One is going to be like a high pitch. And then you're gonna hear um, three more clicks that are slightly lower in pitch. Here you go. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four. One more time. Okay, I ended on the one there. Um, hopefully you could hear the high pitch one and then the slightly lower pitch two, three, four. Those are quarter notes. Now, um, we're gonna be playing quarter notes with the very first pattern we learned in, a pre in our previous videos, which was single strokes. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now. We're gonna play, I'm gonna play a couple of measures, which is, um, you know, a, 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 you can think of it as like one sentence of music. Um, I'm gonna play a few of those um, as single strokes with my metronome. So every metronome click, I should be striking my drum pad here. Um, that would be quarter notes. So let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there you have it. Single strokes being played as quarter notes. So that's the type of subdivision of note I'm playing um, at 80 beats per minute with my metronome. Now, my hope is that you would try playing your single strokes as quarter notes with your metronome. And a good rule of thumb when you're trying to develop your speed on the instrument, on a pad like this or on a snare drum or even on a pillow, um, don't force yourself to go super, super fast to where you tense up and you're playing like really weird. You remember that stick grip we talked about in our very first video? Um, we're not doing any kind of weird things with our fingers. A lot of times when we push ourselves with tempo, we end up squeezing too tight and doing that. So we want to avoid that. Um, what, I, what, what a great teacher showed me was um, do small increments. So that was 80. The next thing I would do if I was practicing and I felt comfortable at 80 was I increase my, uh, my tempo by three beats per minute. So I'd go from 80 to 83 or from 83 to 86. 
Um, you know, sometimes you could try four or five, but I generally try to stay in three increments at a time for, for us brand new drummers out there. Um, you'd be surprised in one practice session how many times you increased by three. Um, it's harder to do that when you're going, say, by 10 or, tw or 20 or, or 15. You know, we want to do that. Our ego kind of gets in the way and we're like, oh, I can go from 80 to 90 or from 80 to 100. Um, often we could maybe do it a couple times, but then we kind of tense out pretty quickly and, and that's where it becomes a mess. Um, so let's take, it, take our time and really develop the single stroke as quarter notes uh, with the metronome and gradually increase your speed. And I promise you, you will get faster and you'll get faster in a more relaxed manner, which is gonna be so helpful and healthy for you as a drummer when you start to play on a full drum kit. And, and even when you start to just do more advanced things on your practice pad or your snare drum. Okay, let's talk about in the second video we've had in our beginner series, we played double strokes. So we're gonna play double strokes now with the metronome. Um, and I'm gonna play, I'm gonna slow the metronome down a little bit because we're gonna play a different type of note and I, I want it to be easy, as easy as possible for you to understand. So um, let's go to 70 beats per minute and I'm gonna change the metronome sound to eighth notes. So you're still gonna hear the one, two, three, four, but eighth notes are a smaller note. Quarter notes equal one beat, eighth notes equal half a beat. So there's two eighth notes inside of one like metronome beat. Um, I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. So again, if you're an advanced drummer out there and you're like, oh, I'd explain it differently. I mean, you get it. This isn't, this video is not for you. Um, so um, basically we're dividing one beat into two half beats, two, two half beats, 0.5. Um, so our double strokes are going to be played as eighth notes. So from beat one to what we call the and of one, because we count eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. So one and would be right, right, and then two and would be left, left. Um, so again, I set my metronome to 70, but I'm gonna change every metronome, like you could, you could select quarter notes or eighth notes or 16th notes. Um, so I'm gonna add, eighth notes, and this is what it sounds like. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you'll hear it sounds kind of like, it's like there's double the amount of notes. There's eight notes inside of one measure. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I know I'm kind of, I'm trying to condense this into as short a video as possible, but I always end up talking too much. Um, okay, let me demonstrate. 70 beats per minute on our metronome, but I set the metronome to eighth notes, and I'm gonna be playing the double stroke pattern on my pad. Now you don't have to set your metronome to eighth notes. You can leave the metronome at quarter notes. For example, here we go. I'm still gonna play eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So same thing, but I wanted to show you what the eighth note on the metronome sounded like. You can do either. Generally speaking, I like to keep my metronome set to quarter notes. Um, I find that it's just like an added way for my brain to kind of focus on the pattern I'm playing. Also, I'm playing everything like super big, right? I'm trying to demonstrate the exercise for you. So I'm playing really, really big stick heights. You'll remember in some of the other videos we've done, we talked about different levels of stick heights. So if we want to play with you know, different volumes or the musical term dynamics, different dynamics, 
we play this pattern, you know, maybe a little smaller. So for example, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So I played that with a different stick height. I totally recommend you play with like a large stick height, a medium stick height, and then a super low stick height so where you're getting really soft. Okay, last part of this video, let's talk about playing the third pattern we learned, which was the paradiddle. And we're gonna talk about playing those as 16th notes. So these are one fourth of a beat. So there's four 16th notes inside of one beat. So between the metronome click on beat one and the metronome click on beat two, you'll hear four small metronome clicks. You'll hear the, the one, the loud one, and then a softer two, three, four, which was really the way we count 16, the way we count 16 notes <laughs> is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So we're adding, the way we count 16 notes is we're gonna add an E and an a. Uh. We already have the and in there because that's a part of our eighth note. So again, one, E and uh, you follow that all the way through beats two, three, and four. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit slower again. So we'll, we'll drop our metronome down to 60. Um, so the quarter note would sound really slow like this. Three, four, but I'm gonna add 16th notes on my metronome. So hopefully you hear the E and uh. So you've got one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a. Okay. Now I'm gonna play paradiddles. Okay. So quickly, what I did there was I tried to play with different dynamics for you. I'm freestyling it. I'm just kind of feeling it out as we go here. But hopefully you saw the different stick heights. I'll do it again. So I'll do a loud, mid, soft. Once again, just like we did with the double strokes, you can remove the, the smaller subdivision, the 16th notes from your metronome, and just hear the quarter note metronome click and still play 16th note paradiddles. Two, three, four. Okay, so that is a very, as quickly as I could, I know I talk too much, but that was a, as condensed of a video as I could make um, on how to use your metronome with the three patterns we've previously learned, single strokes, double strokes, and the paradiddle. Um, and a, a brief demonstration of how to do that with each. Um, when you're practicing at home, once again, I recommend the different levels of your stick heights. So like a high stick height is gonna give you a loud volume, a mid stick height, medium stick height is gonna give you a medium sound, like a medium volume. And then a low stick height is gonna give you that soft touch on your drum. Um, and then of course, uh, don't worry about, like you can have, uh, today we started the paradiddles with 16th notes at 60 beats per minute. We played the double strokes as eighth notes at 70 beats per minute. And we played the single strokes as quarter notes at uh, 80 beats per minute. So um, the, you can do that or you could pick totally different metronome speeds. The key is I recommend you do something that's comfortable, that you feel comfortable with at first and gradually increase your speed by three beats per minute. Give yourself some time, be patient and gracious with yourself. Don't push yourself. Um, you wanna make sure you're really locked in with the metronome. 
I mean, in this video, I could have been more locked in, you know, it was a little, little, little too loosey goosey uh, for my taste. But um, when I'm practicing, I try to be as focused as I can be and really lock in um, with that metronome. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions at all. Um, if you're looking for more detailed, longer form educational content, um, you might consider checking out my website over at thedrumshed.locals.com. Um, that's uh, my supporter uh, website. Uh, so so the, the people over there um, are really who help me make these videos, you know, they, they, their support um, keeps me going here. And um, so I would, would love to have you over there and I'd be so grateful for your support. And uh, because of that support, um, the educational content over there is much longer form and we get into the nitty gritty of how I practice things like this um, and even much more advanced stuff as well. Um, uh, also, uh, be sure to do all that youtube -y stuff. So like, like this video, share this video, if you enjoy this video, uh, maybe sub consider subscribing to the channel. I'd be so grateful to have you a part of our drum community here on the Drum Shed. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. And I hope you have a very blessed day. Mm -hmm.